pipe above a ground plane on layer two without coplanar ground copper is going to give you crosstalk in the order of 75 to 85 percent. Really, yes. Crazy, isn't it? Thick boards, even with a ground plane on layer two, generally have high crosstalk. If you increase the trace to trace spacing to 30 mils, this decreases crosstalk to about 30 percent leaving signals at the 30 mil spacing and adding coplanar ground between them will reduce crosstalk to 10%. On two layer boards that have to be thick, route everything as coplanar with a coplanar ground, so signal ground, signal ground, signal ground, signal ground, and so on, and have a ground plane on layer two. If you do that, you can minimize crosstalk to levels that will work for you. This is a graph of inner layer routing called strip line. The four layer board that I talked about that's a, a vast improvement over the conventional four layer board had grounds on top and bottom with signals on two and three, basically strip line routing. You can see on a four layer board that's 62 mils thick, you're gonna have about 10 to 12 mils of dielectric from layer two to layer three, which means your signals are gonna be about 10, 12 mils away from the plane. With one times height above the plane separation, meaning if you have say 10 mil lines or 12 mil lines or eight mil lines, and you keep them separated by 10 to 12 mils, you're only gonna get about 10% crosstalk, 12% maximum. There is a huge advantage to routing traces on inner layers of boards relative to a ground plane, as opposed to routing them on outer layers. And the advantage of that four layer board, because the center dielectric is so thick, you don't have to worry about the signals on two and three interfering with each other because they'll have such tight coupling to their respective grounds, the fields aren't gonna reach the other side of the board at all. You're gonna have basically no field crossing through that dielectric from the signals. So it's a far superior configuration. It's harder to troubleshoot with traces on inner layers. I understand that but it makes things function so much better. Let's talk a little bit about VCC and ground bounce. What is ground bounce? Ground bounce happens when IC pins have high inductance. What causes high inductance of IC pins? Remember from our discussion earlier, the thing that has the greatest impact on inductance is spacing. I'm gonna talk about this in the power distribution session I'm doing later this week. If you have a pair of vias separated by a quarter of an inch, a pair of small vias, say 10 mil drill, 20 mil pad, and they're separated by a quarter of an inch, uh, which is about six to six and a half millimeters separation. A 10 mil drill would be 